Y'all know I am all about non-traditional ways to kind of enhance or interact with the scriptures. So I've made videos about how to add envelopes, flaps, we've added tassels, we've added windows, we've even added flippy card things. But today we are gonna add jewelry to our Bibles. It's gonna be awesome. Let's begin. you guys know me really really well because you hear different snippets and stories y'all know I love starting my videos with a little story that applies to our Bible study but one thing that you may not know about me because I always hide it from my videos I'm a charm geek when I am not filming because like if I wore my charm bracelets when I was filming like it would be really annoying because they go but when I'm not filming, when I'm getting dressed up, and when I'm not like running around doing mom stuff all day long, I love my charm bracelets. Let me show you them. This is what I would sound like if I wore these. Like every time I moved my hands, it would be so annoying. Okay, but I've always been into charm bracelets. I don't know, it's just, it's the dork within me. I don't know. I like the sentimental value in them. So I have different states I've lived in. This actually has my sister's ashes in it. Um, I've got little onesies for my boys. And I have a charm for all of the big events in my life. It makes it really easy for my husband and all my family members to know what I want for a holiday or birthday because they just go to James Avery and they buy me a charm. So James Avery, if you wanna sponsor this, that's totally fine with me. No, I'm kidding. I don't know if you're a Texan. Shout out to Texas. I'm pretty sure that's the only place that like knows about James Avery, but it's just like a Texas jewelry company. Anyway, all of that to say, I love a little jingle jangle. Now again, I don't wear it often because I'm momming and doing laundry and scrubbing bathtubs or I'm filming a video, but on the normal, the true faithy inside loves the charms. Now I'm gonna set these down because they're super loud. But today we're gonna add a little bit of charms to my Bible. So these are from the company Hello Happy. Some of them are reasonably priced and then some of them are a little bit more expensive based on like how detailed they are. So they varied in prices and there was all different designs. Some of them were like, you know, not great designs. Some of them were cute. Like I think this one has the verse on the back, which is cool. So y'all know I love just making my Bible as functional as possible, which don't get me wrong, like a traditional Bible is not not functional, but for somebody that lives in her Bible basically all day long, I've added ribbons in previous videos. And if you're in my sticker club, you know, I mail out stickers every month and every month I include some sort of tab. So like this is one of them um, from I think April, maybe. I also have the tab die cut. This was like $15.99 at Hobby Lobby. It comes with a few clear stickers and this just die cuts out the shape of a tab out of scrapbook paper or whatever. You just kind of cut it out and then you stick it on the clear sticker and that makes a tab. I did that here. I did this the other day and it, I just used scrapbook paper and die cut it and then I used the clear stickers that it comes with. And yet still I want some other ways to leave markers in my Bible that are kind of fun and playful and just to mix it up. Y'all know I'm not big about color coding. I kind of like no system to be my system when I'm Bible journaling to give myself all of the worship filled freedom to enjoy God's word. So today, and be adding these charms. Now I could add this to a traditional bookmark and hang it off the edge. They even sell these thingy bobbers from Hobby Lobby and it's just basically a bookmark with a loop for a charm. But I want this to be more permanent in my Bible. If I used one of these things, my toddlers would rip it out of my Bible and go lose it or swallow the charm and we'd spend the evening in the ER. So I really wanna use some leather twine. I picked this up at Walmart like months ago because I knew I wanted to do a DIY with it. And I really wanna make some Bible tabs or Bible tassels in the journaling world. A lot of people add jewels or charms to their junk journals. And I kind of wanted to take all of those ideas and kind of mash them together to give a little flair, a little bit of bling. I don't know, mix it up. If I hate them, I can always cut it out, but I want something a little bit permanent. So you might be like, how are we gonna do this? The general concept or idea is that I would stab a hole in the end of the twine, like through the center of it, and then loop the charm through that hole. But because the charms have weight, what I'm picturing is, so instead I'm tying a knot and then I'm gonna stab a hole right above the knot. And that way the weight of the charm, when it hangs down, it will pull on the knot as well and kind of be a little bit better anchored and it won't be too heavy. So 
I'm not a measurer, I'm an eyeballer. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want the charms to be like super long because it might get caught on something. I'm just kind of eyeball like, okay, I would love for the charm to hang off there-ish a few centimeters off my Bible. And then I need a little bit on the top to glue. I don't know, it's probably like 10, 12 inches. Just cut it. And then I'm gonna take a big fat clothespin. This is bent because I used it for quilting a while back. I've not sewn in a while, but it's nice and fat. And I'm just gonna stab a hole through it. So don't hurt yourself. Yo, girl, got it. So the charm obviously comes with that loop on top. Now I'm just gonna take the charm and bend it open with some pliers. These are not jewelry making pliers. These are just like wire cutting pliers, but they work, so. I got it been open just a little bit and I'm gonna try and put this little loop through the hole on the leather. Oh man, you guys, I just figured it out. <laughs> you know what? Don't even bother bending this open. Man, I'm a silly woman. So all I need to do is string it on because I am tying a knot. So ignore the whole, poke the whole thing. We don't need danger in here anyway. Just string it on like a bracelet and tie a knot and then it'll be stuck on there. Gotta love me or you'll hate me. Now I'm totally content with that. So the whole thing didn't work, but what worked was just stringing it like a bead on a string and then the knot holds it on. Now it's a little like wonky tonky cause it's sideways, but I really don't care. But all I'm gonna do now is glue it into my binding, which this little lady's for. But I want to hot glue all of these all at once. So let me real quick make the other ones. And here are these. I just wanna glue them all in at once because hot glue gets weird. You can't really hot glue on top of other hot glue. So I wanted to glue them in all at once to not mess up my binding. Stretch it out so the leather's not super twisted. Now all I'm gonna do, we've done this before my channel, is I'm gonna just stick the tip in side of the binding with glue. So this is what they look like in my Bible. We've got, when it rains, look for rainbows on Psalm 100. The steadfast love of the Lord endures forever. Then we've got faith can move mountains on Matthew 17 and happy thoughts on Revelation 21. And these will obviously get moved around, but I love how they're just not traditional Bible ribbons like these are. They're just a little bit more girly and cute. And there's so many options when it comes to charms. Again, I got these at Hobby Lobby and they're the Hello Happy brand. Now there are a thousand different options that we could do. We could repurpose old jewelry. We could go down the jewelry like beads aisle in the craft store and get a bunch of cute charm ideas there. You could junk journal, style it up and make kind of like a tassel of beads and charms that hang off the spine or even go down in your Bible. There are a bajillion different options. I've even seen like buttons done as a bead or a charm. So that's super cute. It's really up to you. There's a thousand different options. My goal and my aim though in sharing this is that we get crafty, we get interactive with our Bible and that it enhances our Bible study life, that it makes us enjoy the, our time in the word and be able to keep spot markers and things like that, that we enjoy and that, that make it personalized and interactive. All so that you can delight in God's word, find your meaning and your purpose and your drive and your mission in life through God's word. So if you guys want to learn more about that and do a Bible study with me, check out this video. Or if you want another really fun Bible journaling idea where we do like this flippy card origami thing, check out this video. And I will see you guys in these videos.